today on Be Something Wonderful, how to pierce the thin veil of 3D reality with a meditation that is out of this world. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from a subscriber that said, Tom, I, I understand the idea of reconnecting with the higher self or that, that higher power or that power within. I understand what you're saying, but really to me, sometimes 3D reality feels so real in, in the negativity and in, 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 in the, the suffering feels so real to me that I could cut it with a knife. And I, I, I don't know how to move beyond that. I feel like sometimes that maybe I'm connecting with my higher self or my inner being. Is that just feeling happy? But then, but then it doesn't last. And, and then I'm, I'm feeling that negativity again. So I was wondering if you could unpack that a little bit more. Well, guys, we're gonna unpack this today and more. So, so really, I understand, I get it, this, this duality, this 3D world of the wanted and unwanted, of the pleasure and pain, right? Of, the, of the, uh, this idea of, of, of celebrating and then suffering. I get all of that, it feels quite real. Right? It feels quite dense, but I'm here to tell you that the veal is thin. The veal on the other side of that veal is your higher self. On the other side of that veal is infinity. That's, the, that's source. Right? The reason it feels so real to us is because of our beliefs that it is real, that, that we, we're so used to the known. And I think one of you mentioned this on the channel today, that we're so familiar with with this world of limitation. We're so familiar with the negativity that sometimes we have. And we're so familiar of, the, of being happy and then sad, being in, being, uh, feeling joyful and then suffering, right? Feeling pleasure and then feeling pain. We're so used to that, that we believe that is what it, that's the way it is. That's what it's like. This is the world of the known. And then if anything unknown comes up, we label that as fearful. Right? And we automatically quickly label it. And then when, when really that, that is your inner being talking to you, right? If it feels unknown, if it doesn't feel familiar, that is your inner being. That is your higher self. That is the world of that unknown source energy. Your higher self, all that is communicating with you, right? On the other side of that thin veil, I know it feels thick, but it's thin. And we're going to pierce it today. We're going to do a meditation. I'm going to show you a meditation to pierce this veil. This is love. That's love in the highest sense, right? That's the love that has no opposite. It's not the love that you feel that you can possibly feel hate on the other side of it. It's impossible, right? This is the love that has no opposite. This is the, the, the appreciation that doesn't feel um, not appreciating something. It's, it's, the, it's the feeling beyond all opposite. It's the peace that that passes all understanding, right? As scripture says, right? So all that is not love is on this side. It doesn't mean it's hate necessarily. It just means it's some degree less than that opposite, right? It could be you're feeling good. It could be you're feeling happy, but this, is, this feeling is beyond happiness, right? Because even when we, we all have had pain in our, our lives, right? And if you've read my memoir, you know, Right? I'm, not, I'm not talking to you from an ivory tower. I'm not, talking, I, it's not, I'm not saying that I know your pain. That's impossible to know somebody else's pain. I'm saying I know pain. I know suffering. I get it. And I'm saying there's something underneath that. There's something underneath the sadness. There's something underneath the grief. There's something underneath that, that unhappiness that is, that is steady, that is true, that's a knowing, that is peace. I'm getting chills just talking about it. It's a love beyond all love. That's what I'm talking about. No matter what you've been through in your life, no matter what you're going through right now, it's there and it's a very thin veil. I didn't know it either. I didn't get it. I thought I was a victim. I get it. I thought I was a victim of my negativity. All of that, right? But so we can feel elevated emotions that approximate love on this side that approximate love for sure. And that's better than feeling negativity. But even that is temporary and fleeting unless you find that peace that's beyond all peace, that love that's beyond all love, that knowing that's beyond all knowing, right? It's the unknown, but it's the world of the total knowing as well. It's just unknown to us, <laughs> right? In our 3D perspective. But it's the all-knowing. That's what we call the unknown, right? 
and, and I want to hit this in a minute. So you can pierce this thin veil, right? It, it, we're feeling that a limited identity, right? Defined by our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. They're, they've become a habit. They've become so familiar that, and known to us that it's become a habit. We've conditioned this unknown energy or source energy, the all-knowing energy. We've conditioned it and we've labeled things and we've judged them, right? But it's a thin veil. And all of that is because it comes through this belief filter, the belief of who we think we are or how the world should be, right? But hear this, right? Source is always in communication with you. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, we immediately judge or label this unknown feeling or this unknown communication, these things that we call magic and miracles. Sometimes they scare us, right? Or these coincidences or, the, or these uh, serendipities, right? Or synchronicities, right? Through the belief or filter of fear. We put it through, immediately we judge it and put it through a belief filter of fear, or label it as, oh, it, or, or the other side of that, when it's something really good, we label it too good to be true. Impossible. Too good to be true. I, I have not known that in my life, so it must too, be too good to be true. This unknown, that is the all-knowing, we label it as too good to be true, or we label it as fearful and unknown. Oh, I don't want to go there. All of that is because it's coming through this belief filter, right? We, we, think, we think it's either too good to be true or it's unknown and it's fearful. I, 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 it's not according to my ordinary everyday beliefs, right? This identity which we've come to know, right? That something must be off, right? Wow, hear this. This is who we really are on this side. This is who we're acting. We're just actors in the great movie, in the great play of life. Right? So let's talk about it then today. What I want, really want to talk about today is piercing this thin veil, right, through a meditation. I call it pierce the reality veil meditation. <laughs> or you can just call it piercing the veil, right? This is, so, what I, so in this meditation, what you want to do is become, we've talked about this, but we're going to put it all together here in this meditation. Become the silent observer. Right? View your 3D mind or your 3D self from the viewpoint of your higher self. Imagine yourself as your higher self. Imagine yourself as that love. Right? You're not exploring your thoughts and feelings and beliefs. You're not exploring them or analyzing them or trying to figure anything out. You're not trying to get to the bottom of anything. Why? Because there is no bottom. But you're not doing that here. You're not even analyzing or being introspective. Right? You might be watching, observing your mind doing that. Hear this. When you're, when you're the higher self, when you're stepped outside of that, you might be observing your mind trying to, trying to analyze things, but you're not analyzing them. You're stepping beyond that. You're stepping beyond the veil, right? You're not analyzing or, or being introspective. You observe your 3D self as it bounces between highs and lows, desire and resistance, wanted and unwanted, between pleasure and pain between positive and negative. Just watch this, right? Just observe your 3D self doing this, bouncing around like a ping pong ball, right? Between, between pleasure and pain, between celebrating and suffering, all of this, right? Observe it though, and here's the key, and here's how you can do it. Think of it, think of it as a parent, a loving parent. Your higher self is a loving parent. Observe with love and compassion and understanding like a loving parent would observe a child that's throwing a tenth of tantrum. Hear this, right? You're like, your higher self is like that loving parent. It always loves you unconditionally. And it's that, it's that understanding beyond understanding. It doesn't matter what you do, what Ten temper tantrums you throw in the 3D world. Your higher self's there just loving you, just watching, just observing you, not judging you, not labeling you, not stopping you, just letting you be. Hear this. This is powerful. That's your first step, right? Become that observer. Then the second step is allow the feeling of well-being now to overwhelm you. Hear this. Now that you're observing, you're going to feel that well-being. You're going to feel that love. You're going to feel that peace that passes all understanding. It's this joy. It's peace, appreciation. Feel it. That's the second step. Just feel that come up. It, it, has, it will because now you're observing it. You're letting it through. You've pierced the veil, right? And then the third step, this is the opposite, actually, of imagining your wish fulfilled. Hear this in the third step. Allow and receive the images, 
right? You're receiving from source, from your higher self. Now you, that you're in that state, right? You're, you, you get into the observer mode like a loving parent, and then you're allowing the feelings of well-being to, to, to rise up. Now allow and receive the images from your higher self. Your Im the images, your higher self will start sending you images. Start receiving them. It's sending you images of your desires, of your biggest dreams, of your biggest wishes, right? It's sending you, it's send, it's sending you from your very highest aspirations, right? Now you're just receiving them. You're not imagining your wish fulfilled. You're getting the images. You're receiving them. Hear this. This is big. This is the key. Instead of imagining your desire or wish fulfilled, right, or wish fulfilled from the 3D you, from the 3D state, right? That sometimes causes a lot of resistance, right? Trying to imagine our wish fulfilled, trying to go into our imagination and imagine we already have it. Here, instead, you're just going to receive them, right? You're in that state. And then feel the, you're, you're, you're then going to feel the feeling, the fulfillment of your wish or desire, right? Remember, you're already in fulfillment here. I want to make this distinction. You're in fulfillment. Right here, though, instead of imagining the usual thing we do is we imagine our, our wish fulfilled from the 3D state and then we feel the fulfillment of it. Right? We feel the wish for desire. Here, you're going to be fulfilled. You're feeling fulfillment before you're desiring anything, before you're putting anything consciously out there. Right? You're, you're observing. You're allowing the feeling to well up. You're feeling that fulfillment. And then you're allowing and receiving the images from your higher self from that powerful state of already being fulfilled. Not from a specific desire, just feeling fulfilled because, because that's who you are. Now you're going to receive the images of your desires. Now you're going to receive the images of your highest aspirations. That's the key. So instead of imagining your desire or wish fulfilled from your 3D state and then feeling the fulfillment of your wish or desire, you are moving to a neutral state of absolute fulfillment. It's a neutral state. That's, that's your higher state. That's your natural state right? In wholeness. It's a natural state of absolute fulfillment and wholeness. And then you're receiving the image or imaginal act from your higher self. Hear this, right? Because one of the things that we struggle with is, is, is that we, we, from a 3D perspective, we're trying to conjure the imaginal act, right? That can be, sometimes that causes us to challenge you guys with the, we're trying to get through the resistance. Here you're not having, there's no resistance, You've followed the meditation, and now you're, you're in a state of absolute fulfillment, a neutral state of that, of that absolute, of your higher self, and now you're allowing the images to come to you. You're receiving the images from your higher self. Wow, that's powerful. Try this meditation today. Let's just review it, guys. Pierce the reality veil meditation. Become the silent observer, right? Like a loving parent. Just watch your 3D self bounce all around between suffering and pain from unwanted and wanted, right? Observe it with the loving compassion of a parent that's, that's watching or observing their child through a tenth of tantrum, right? That's the first step. Second step, allow the feeling of well-being to overwhelm you. Feel that joy, that peace, that appreciation that has no opposite. Now you're in a total state of absolute fulfillment. A fulfillment that's not the result of or conditioned on, hear this, the effects of the 3D world, right? It's not, you're not, you're not looking for the cause outside of yourself. You are the cause. You went directly to source for that feeling of excitement. It's not conditioned on any 3D event. Now you're in an absolute state of absolute familiar. Now allow and receive the images from your higher self. Now you're receiving your imaginal act. You're receiving those images. You're receiving the images or the imaginal act of your, of your highest aspirations, of your most ardent desires, of your wishes coming true, because they are coming true. So, so you're not, you're not, you're not uh, imagining it from a 3D perspective and then trying to move yourself, efforting to move yourself to a feeling of fulfillment. You are in that fulfillment. Now you're receiving it all. Wow, that's powerful. That is how to pierce the thin veil of 3D reality and a meditation to do it. 
I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com at BeSomethingWonderful.com, or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.